today. <laughs> today. <laughs> Hey, what's up, you guys? Hello. It's Eli and Becca. Becca. Also known as? Q Team with a Z. Q Team with a Z. That's what? right. Wait, what? what? <sighs> People who work in customer service. Mm hmm. You feel me. Yeah. You I'm feel us. You. you feel us. <sighs> Today we had a bridal shower. <laughs> With a lot of people that didn't leave until 8 30. <clears throat> also, the day was crazy. Oh my gosh. And really busy. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so, we thought we would do a little QA time. Well, we wanted to do this for a long time. Well, there was a time, there was a time a few months back where we like closed every night for two three straight weeks. Four days in a row. Never mind, it was only four <laughs> days in a row. <laughs> it felt like two weeks. I'm just saying. But yeah, it was literally four days in a row where we, we closed and we decided to come up with a team name because we're awesome. Team Q with a Z. Q with a Z. And okay. don't ask us why because I actually can't even remember. I know it was the one of those sleep deprived parts. The cute part. Cute? Q. <laughs> I mean, we are pretty cute. <laughs> the Q part was because my favorite letter is a Q. Both single and ready to mingle, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Okay, so we had a few uh, questions here, right? Got a few. I asked you followers of mine on Twitter and Instagram to ask us your coffee and tea related questions. Yeah, because, you know, we mainly do coffee, but we figured we would do tea as well. Tea? But, you know, it's called a coffee shop, not a tea shop. Technically, because, I think it's a cafe. Well, it has the word coffee in it. But if it was it a does. tea shop, coffee cafe. people might be confused and think it's like a t-shirt shop. And I don't want people coming in and be like, hey, where's my t-shirt? And be like, sorry, actually. But we, we also do. sell t-shirts. We do. Okay, side note, shoot the bunny. Let's continue. Okay. First question comes to us from uh, Leslie Robinette. How do you make a Mexican chocolate? A Mexican chocolate? A Mexican chocolate. I mean, okay, so we have a Mexican mocha, and that's with the mocha powder, which is chocolate. And then we've got the Mexican syrup, which is cinnamon and vanilla. So I'm guessing if you wanted a Mexican chocolate, like hot chocolate? She was talking about tea. So that's why I'm confused. Wait, tea? So basically, we have a chocolate tea that we can put vanilla and cinnamon in. Ah. I mean, we could do that. Don't knock it till you try it. Yeah. Continue. Okay. Next question comes from Emily Hunt. Why is it Americano named after Americans? Are we just watered down substitutes? I mean, pretty much. I, I will really say, know. though, it's not named after Americans. Americana was around before America was around. Pretty sure. I it's an know. Italy thing. It's Italian. I don't know. I don't know. Do I we just look know like experts? That people. Okay. If you're a customer that goes into a coffee shop, mm -hmm. please, for all that is good and holy, know what you're ordering before you order. Someone one time was. I'm going to guess she was just having a hard day. I don't know. But, so she comes up to the speaker box. She's like, can I get a, um, let's do, uh, how about a, uh, small, no, no, no. I want a 16, no, 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 okay. I want to do a hot, no, I want iced 16 ounce. Um, what's the difference between an Americano and a latte? And I was like, okay. So a latte is shots of espresso and milk, steamed milk or cold, whatever. And an Americano, exactly. yeah, an Americano is shots of espresso in water. And she's like, so when I said the latte part, she's like, so it's just like steamed milk and some shots. And I was like, yes, yep, that's what it is. <laughs> and uh, yeah. So anyway, just okay. So let's just go over some basic some ground rules. Yes. So a latte is milk mm -hmm. if it's hot steamed if it's cold it's not, not. <laughs> shots of espresso 
a mocha is um, chocolate with milk and shots. So there is no, no such, such thing, thing as a, a mocha, mocha latte. latte. Okay, no such don't thing. even just know because it's literally not even a thing. It's, it's either with chocolate or without chocolate. We can get you the mocha. That's fine. So we can get you a latte. Please, also fine. Please don't ever, no mocha latte. ever. I just want you guys to know. I know you're smart people. You are smart so just people. Don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. <sighs> okay. Anyway, an americano is water and shots. We already went over yeah. that. Okay. And then, obviously, hot chocolate is just milk and the the yeah. chocolate stuff. And there is a huge difference between a cappuccino and a frappuccino. <laughs> <laughs> one is blended and it's a one frappuccino. is foamy. Frapp is blended. Yes. You cannot order a hot frappuccino. No, can't do it. A cappuccino <laughs> is steamed milk that makes it all foamy and frothy and loveliness. Mostly foam. Keep but it foam. It's it's just you know. You can't order that ice on either. On food side, the worst possible thing to get is an artichoke, artichoke. dip because it just takes twenty thousand years to make. A cappuccino is probably probably the worst thing to make on that side because you have to get the foam just right and then it's all confusing yeah. and yeah. other places have it differently like some Starbucks places has it button. like okay so if if i ask do you want it wet or dry which for the record wet is less foam and dry is more foam yes so i'll be like do you want it wet or dry and they're like i don't know what that means just give me the regular kind i'm like okay so obviously other places well, have that? They make it differently, so Different it's things. just confusing. Yeah. We've had days where, like, I literally have made one, like, four times in a row, and it's just, it's not, not a, anyway. Moral of the story, know what you're ordering. Yes. Our last question comes to us from Anna, Ooh, our old hello, coworker. Anna. Love yes, you, Anna. I miss you. Miss you. Lucky child. Um, she asks, if my espresso shots pour like diarrhea, what am I doing wrong? Okay, you need some help if that's what's happening. <laughs> okay, yeah, so I also want to know, like, is there chunks? That's gross. Or, oh, or, no, no. Let's, is it green? Let's, nope. Let's, there... sh okay, a shot that is tamped correctly and is coming out correctly should look like a steady stream of spaghetti. Angel hair spaghetti. Nah, well, no, because it's if thick. it's too... It's no, a little thinner. It's... Uh, okay. I was told angel hair. Whatever. If it's coming out all like airy and stuff, um, it probably means that uh, the coffee ground is too thick or too coarse, and or you didn't tamp it hard enough because well, you, didn't put enough in. you want the grains of the or the the grind of the espresso beans to be kind of like sand, like the texture of sand, um, and then a nice hard firm tamp. And then when you go to put in there and push the button or whatever you do to make it happen, it should come out steady and flowing and beautiful. Yes. Anyway, so that's if it's coming out like diarrhea, have. then that's just awkward. And you need help. You know, over the years <laughs> of working here, uh, <laughs> we've had some f a few parodies of songs Many parodies come to mind songs. because we are bored and crazy and things just happen. Things happen. So Indeed. I have one that, um, so from the song from Greece, I don't know what it's called. It's like, you're the one I want, you are the one I want, ooh, 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 honey. Okay, that one. So the first part goes, I've got chills, they're multiplying. Anyway, so I came up with one, and it goes, <coughs> okay, it goes, I've got drinks, they're multiplying, and I'm losing my mind. Cause the line just keeps on coming. And that's all I got. It's a work in progress. It's a work in progress. Work in progress. Also, for a while. Oh my okay, God. so I ask this question every single time, and without fail, I forget the answer every single time. So if anyone wants a drink, they'll be like, do you want whipped cream or not? And they'll say yes or no, and I'll just forget because, you know, that happens. We got other things on our minds, people. Ain't nobody got time for that. Um, <laughs> word to your mother. Anyway. <laughs> Really? So, <laughs> happens. so I'll be like, do you want some whip? And then I'll be like, or nay nay. But like, I won't say that to a customer. I'll just be in the back and be like, do you only want some whip? Or some nay nay? Anyway, so actually funny, funny story. So mm -hmm. um, 
this guy came to the drive through and ordered two drinks. One had whipped cream, one one didn't. So I'm gonna hand it to him, and he goes, and I saw like this is the one with whip, and then I go, and he goes, and this is the one with nene, and I was like, yeah, yeah. really so happy. So that's another song that we sing. Is, Do you want some whip or some nene? Because you know, whip or. Whip. Our new one that we did was, do you want some whip or some cray cray? Yes. That's at the end of the night when we're going crazy and losing it all. And then also. All of it. If you like it, then you should put a lid on it. If you like it, then you should put a lid on it. Whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, 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 whoa, oh, 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 That's it. And then, oh, one I just came up with today. Tonight. This is live. Brand new. I'm all, oh, oh, <clears throat> let's do it again. We're only baristas. We do the best we can. We're only baristas. Yeah. And uh, other things that happened tonight. It's a work in progress still. <laughs> but I was so, thinking about it. Okay, I was thinking about it. And the words in that song were so true. We don't even have to change them. It's like, I can fake a smile. <laughs> so true. Anyway. I feel like there are other ones that we had. We actually came up with like a full-on legitimate song. It was like a Christmas carol, and it was like, Oh, crossroads, oh, crossroads, mocha's got tasties. (gasps) No, 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 it's, um, I do, it's, um. It was a good one, a couple years ago. That ding one. coffee's done. Ding coffee's done. Ding coffee's done. Would you like a sleeve or straw with that? Oh gosh, yes. Would you like a sleeve or straw with that? Ding coffee's done. Ding I coffee's done. Anyway. I work at Crossroads Cafe, making lattes and a other paper stuff. Cup. Anyway, they they usually come and go. Like they'll come and I'll be like, yes, this it's is fantastic. seasonal, and then I'll forget. Yeah. Then he wanted to add two shots of espresso, which Whoa. would be like a double dirty chai for those of you. who you double know. dirty chai. Double dirty chai. Double dirty chai. Some nice ring to it. Runs right off the tip of the tongue. Anyway, so he wanted to get two shots of in there, and I was like, okay, we can get this. And then, okay, the question he asks me: This Maybe has can... been Q Team with a Z. Q Team with a Z. Good our evening last, and good night. Last time. Aww, he's leaving. You're leaving too. Well, not for a little bit. <laughs> Alrighty, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. And like out. and subscribe. Yeah, I'm you're good at this. Yes. yes, and follow Becca. She's I don't great. have. I don't. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Over and out. <laughs> Do you have any shots that are tasteless? <laughs> I'm sorry. What? <laughs> so I'm like. No. Um, No, sorry, we just got the regular kind.